land degradation is a serious concern in Kenya. Due to widespread clearing of forests and grasslands for agriculture, as well as poor farming methods. In the arid and semi arid areas, overstocking of livestock leads to massive soil erosion and heavy flooding during the rainy seasons. The GEF SGP supports several organizations promoting sustainable land management and others that help communities effectively implement conservation projects. The Arid Lands Information Network has established knowledge centers in various regions around the country. We are hosted here by the Assistant County Commissioner. All the Marifa centers are located in arid, arid areas. From the name Arid Lands Information Network, we are located in arid areas. One of the things that we've been doing a lot is the issue of information. We've been helping communities to be able to access information. So some of the things we're offering community members, internet, internet access, most areas in Sipili lack internet or even there's no pla nowhere where community members can access the internet. At the same time, we're also helping communities access e-government services. It's usually difficult for community members around this area maybe to access things like uh, e-government services like uh, payslip, uh, grease, KRA PIN or even to fill tax returns online. So we are able, community members are able to access that through the Marifa Center. We have publications here that we're helping community members get. Uh, one is called Baobab, we have Jota Africa, and we also have another one called like, Ipia Maliasili. Baobab is about sustainable agriculture, Jota Africa is about climate change adaptation and mitigation, while like, Ipia Maliasili is about uh, sustainable land management. May I take this opportunity, first of all, to thank uh, the program, especially the, the activities which are taking place in this area, I stand to say that uh, this area, uh, people have really benefited from the services from Marifa Center. And since then, really, I stand to say Sipiri has changed and it will continue getting changes due to help from this uh, center, that is Maripa, Marifa Center. So I'm very grateful and we will continue to work together as, as we stand together, the government, that is national government and the county government and the organization itself, really we shall as, achieve a lot in this area. I live from the periphery of uh, Lariac Forest and I'm a passionate farmer. Specifically, I'm an organic farmer. I'm a great beneficiary of this Marifa Center. Uh, when I relocated to this place from a uh, central province, I, over, I had some uh, challenges. For example, I used to grow crops there, which needs a lot of rain, but here it's a drought-prone area or it's a semi-arid area. So the challenges that I had is the crops that I used to grow in central province, uh, they could not make it here most of them. So I had to adapt now to the climate of this, this place. And uh, uh, when I was trying to fight the, uh, out those challenges, that's when I, I heard about this Mariva Center. And uh, that's when I became computer retreat. I even have a, had a problem in manipulating my phone. Now I can do it. Uh, I have a craving for information uh, and knowledge. And you see, there is a lot of uh, knowledge and information in the internet. So whenever I have a problem, I now Google the, in the internet and it gives me a solution. I also, through my river center, I was able to, to get some farmers who are very serious in multiplication of seeds. I've given a few of them about three and they are doing very well. Kivulini Trust is assisting communities to strengthen their traditional range management systems that regulated the use of grazing areas and water points. I work with Kivulini Trust as a programs manager. Kivulini Trust has been working with the, the communities of northern Kenya for over five years, uh, working to revive, to strengthen their culture, their traditions, 
uh, which are basically meant to uh, uh, strengthen the traditional resource governance systems. It has been doing through this uh, through a number of uh, uh, approaches and one of them is uh, working with the indigenous or traditional councils of elders to meet on a regular basis to discuss how to strengthen the data system of grazing resource management which has been weakened over time. This project uh, supported by the GEF SGP program in Kenya is a, a strategic grant. By this uh, I mean uh, that it is working towards even influencing uh, policy at the local, county and national level. Kazi ya deda, kazi ya deda. Deda na semikana siyo wa kitu ya leo, siyo kitu ya leo. Ile kitu ile zamani sakale, siyo ya leo. Ile wakati ya lingine tumepotea, wakati ile kufilini na kuja, Tumesene jadileana, tumeonana, tumeeleza, bambu ya zamani na mnagani, deda ya zamani, wana teng, na, te, na chunga gombe na mnagani, na umbuzi na chunga na mnagani, na maji na chunga na mnagani, wana kunya na mnagani, na ulizana. Tumeeleza. Tumepahamu, wata wawo wamepahamu, nufanya kasi sasa. Na kasi sinasema, banga sasa mahali ngabi, tatu. Wakati ya mvua na nyesha, gombe na kula bandai. Wakati ya jilali, na kula bandai. Wakati ya ukame kabisa, na kula bandai. Tumepata inji yo kutoka kivulini. Imetusaidia ikatupea nguvu. Tukafanya malisho zetu ziwe. Kuna siku pali tunatenga siku ya mvua wana grace na pali siku ya jilali tuna grace. Na ujua kamba katika malisho siya wanaume peke yao wanakaa uko. Pia wanawake. Uwa pia wanawake wanangalia after animals pia vile hiyo wazee wanashikilia hiyo kama sio kuna wamama nyuma awange kuwa na hiyo nguvu pande ya maji pia tunashikilia ili mambo zetu zipote waborana wako na kimila zao ambaye inasemekana ngombe sikikunya maji sinabakishia hii pia wanyama wapori ili wasikoze maji kwa sababu sisi tunazingatia wanyama ardhi na pia mimea the Forest Action Network and the Wild Living Resources Organizations are promoting the sustainable production of charcoal to reduce destructive and wasteful production methods. Several organizations, including Farming Systems Kenya, Sustainable Agriculture Community Development Program, Makaro Beekeeping, Tree Nursery Self-Help Group, Mount Kenya Organic Farmers, and the Kenya Organic Agriculture Network are all promoting better farming methods that include soil and water conservation techniques, cultivation of high-value crops, and organic farming. Uh, SACDEP was founded in 1993. It's a development agency that works with smallholder farmers so that they can be able to, to mobilize the limited resources they have to improve their livelihood. SACDEP has partnered with the GEF SGP and we have a project at the Upper Tana, whose project title is Building Capacity for Forest Community for Benefit Sharing. The activities for this uh, project were four. One was on beekeeping, two on trout fish farming, three on ecotourism, and four on non-wood products. The goal of this project was to work hand in hand with the communities so that they can reduce destruction of the forests. Environmental research and mapping and information systems in Africa have implemented an SGP-funded project to assist community forestry associations, develop participatory management plans, and to sign co-management agreements with the Kenya Forest Service. Uh, generally, in Miss Africa, we do GIS mapping for sustainable livelihoods to help the communities know exactly where the resources are. When they identify their resources, they're able to identify with them more and be able to manage them more sustainably. That is the importance of mapping. And more so we do environmental research and we also boost on environmental conservation. Currently with SGP, UNDP, we are doing participatory forest management plans for five communities, community forest associations, 
That is Marania Forest, uh, Muchehene Forest, Chuka Forest, Kengombe, and Kenjiru. You've been able to carry the communities all through the steps of participated forest management plan development, and they are all in their final stages, that is in the view of the drafts, awaiting approval by the KFS director, and then uh, launching by the community. After this, they will be implementing those PFMPs for the conservation of their forest and for their sustainable uh, livelihood improvement. Currently, we are implementing a project in Laikipia County through the assistance of the UNDP GEF SGB grant, where we are assisting the ex forest quarters with facilitating them to achieve and adopt and use the improved cook stove. We are working in the seven villages of Solio, where we are offering stoves the through affordable way by subsidizing them. And so far, we have managed to be able to move close to 2,000 stoves and assisted more than 2,000 households. Uh, the improved cook stoves are, are also beneficial. For example, um, the lesser fuel wood you use makes, uh, gives more time for the trees to replenish, therefore ensuring that there is a continuous supply of fuel wood for the women to use in their cooking and heating uh, needs. The Kenya Forest Working Group is assisting communities to give their input into review and implementation of the forest policy, laws, and regulations. SAVIF project is an acronym that stands for Sanitation Activities Fostering Infrastructure. We are based in uh, Juakali, but we have a main office in Anyuki. Our main activities is recycling of waste through UNDP or SGP project. We have been able to be funded by UNDP to construct a recycling center in Juakali. Basically, we do different activities in the recycling center. One, uh, we recycle plastic bags through uh, women groups by weaving, sorting out of plastics. The one that can be recycled can be used by women to weave. We also try to use plastic bottles to make fence to demonstrate to the people that uh, these can be uh, recycled in different ways. We also do um, analysis like where we identify the types of uh, trash in the respective centers and identify which one can be used to recycle a certain materials. Nature Kenya and the Millennium Community Development Initiatives are implementing capacity expansion and knowledge management projects. The Millennium Community Development Initiatives, MCDI, implemented a capacity building and knowledge management project for the GEF Small Grants Program. This project included training workshops for grantees so that they could learn and be taught about how to do better financial management of the resources that have been allocated and also be able to comply with the tax system of the country. We also trained them on how to ensure that the needs of men, women, young people, and people with disabilities are taken into consideration 
when they're implementing their projects. In terms of um, monitoring and evaluation, we helped train the groups on how to better monitor the impact of the projects they're implementing so that they don't continue implementing projects that may be even having negative effects so that they can make sure that the projects are implementing, they're documenting also what kind of positive, negative or unexpected impacts they're having. In addition to that, the knowledge management aspect of this project included the production of videos where we went around the country talking with different SGP grantees, interviewing them, seeing what they were doing and then we put those into short videos which show an overview of what SGP in Kenya has been able to accomplish and what it is continuing to accomplish. This we also included publications that's a newsletter called the Environmental Barometer, which featured some SGP grantees and also other projects from other communities. And a publication which has a summary of the SGP projects in Kenya. We have also a website. On this website, we've put together all this information so that in future, anybody who wants to know what SGP is, what it is doing in Kenya, you can be able to get to this website, which is like a one-stop shop where it shows you the videos, the publications, and also the guidelines of the GEF SGP.